Hey everybody and welcome back to another how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at pig husbandry. All right, so the first thing let's look at are the two placeable zones. Let's go ahead and pull up our F1 menu. That'll be helpful later. Take a look in the shop and go to placeables and animal pins. And in here we have two different size pig enclosures. We've got the standard size pig enclosure for $90,000. And it's $90 a day, and it will hold 100 pigs. Then we have the large pig enclosure, which is $250,000, uh, $250 a day, and 300 pig capacity. Let's go ahead and look at putting these down. Now, these are some pretty big areas, and we're kind of running out of area here at the farm. So I thought we'd go ahead and move over to this particular spot. Now, I'm going to take advantage of I'm not really concerned about the amount of money that uh, this is going to cost me, but you see this big hill right here? I'm going to use the terraforming feature of this placeable area to kind of kind of flatten the whole deal out a little bit. Let's uh, rotate our map around. And I'm not really concerned about the price. The price is pretty expensive uh, right there at four hundred nineteen sixteen thousand dollars but I'm gonna lower this uh, raise it up a little bit okay and the whole goal around that is to basically help terraform this area a little bit put it down there and you can see we've kind of flattened that whole area out now let's get the small pig enclosure over here and this only seems to work with pig enclosures I've seen so far let's hold the left shift and the arrow key and you can see it jumps around 90 degrees got the fence there got trees in our way there don't own that land Said we're starting to run out of spot here. Let's go ahead and buy that piece of land across the uh, across the way there. Now let's put our animal or. All right, let's put it down over here. Right across the street. Let's left shift and let's rotate that around. And left shift Q. I know we're paying a lot more money than we need to for this, but, uh, okay. Just putting it down uh, for the how-to series. Let's go ahead and take a look over here at the large pig enclosure. See here over the side we have our slurry and our manure points. We've got our straw. We're going to blow straw into there. We have our water trough. Our food trough then this is where we are going to uh, buy and have our pigs delivered so if we go ahead and hit R see we have a choice of pink pigs white pigs black and white pigs and then black pigs interesting how white pigs have little black dots on them still so let's go ahead and just pick up two of each four six and eight. okay so that's twelve thousand dollars and you can see it's costing us eight hundred dollars hundred dollars per pig uh, in order to have them delivered 
confirm that. And here are our pigs. Let's go ahead and look in the uh, animal screen at our pig area. Large pig enclosure. So you can see pigs require water and straw. And then for food, they require three separate or four separate items. They require corn, wheat or barley, soybeans, canola or sunflowers, and potatoes or sugar beets. This is very similar to pigs with Farm Sim 17 and that they required four separate um, food groups uh, if you were to feed them individual components. And uh, it's wheat or barley. So you don't have to provide both. You can put either or there. Uh, and you can provide soybeans, canola, or sunflowers. And then root crops of either potatoes or sugar beets. And you can see the ratio down there. 50% of their food is via corn. 25% of their food is a cereal crop in wheat or barley. 20% um, is a protein food in soybeans, canola, or sunflowers. And 5% is in potatoes or sugar beets. And then, of course, pigs produce manure, slurry, and themselves. Those are the only three items that really pigs are good for. Uh, making manure and slurry and reproducing, you can then have more pigs. So just as we've done in our other animal husbandry videos, we're going to go ahead and jump in the semi and run down to the animal area pick up a few pigs and deliver them to the other area. All right, we have made it here. Let's pull on in and see if we can't back in here. All right, and then we'll hit R. And uh, we'll just go ahead and get another uh, eight pigs. Four, six, eight. Go ahead and confirm that. See, we've just got eight little piggies here in the bottom of our trailer. Would be nice. Uh, I just noticed this. Would be nice if we had kind of indicator in the HUD as to how many uh, animals we were hauling. Let's see here. Let's go back. Let's go back and check something out. I wanted to see if we can maybe haul different uh, different animals in here. Well, let us load up. Uh, let's say. A sheep with our pigs. An interesting experiment. Alright, let's put a... Uh... Yep. Alright. Well, that answers that question. Only haul pigs. head on down here just trying to think where we're going to put our chickens and our horses I think we're going to have room here at the main farm for those You have a bit of a lip to climb to get into here. This is where we're going to uh, deliver ours. Pigs. Or. Alright. 
are we not able to drop our pigs off? Go, R. And let's go ahead and unload those. I was hitting enter that time as opposed to uh, spacebar. Got our pigs. Open the gate here. That's pretty cool. Go ahead and close the gate. All right, so now we know we need to get water and straw. So let me go ahead and uh, have over here and let's see if we can find a water trailer. Where did we leave that water trailer? Did we leave it over here? We did indeed leave it over here. We're also going to need the straw blower. And the straw. Go ahead and fill this up with water. And we'll get a little bit of a frame of reference as to how much uh, how much water our pigs are going to take. I believe we could also fill the uh, the trailer that we used for milk uh, with water. Let's go ahead and check that out since we already have it. I think that is still filling. Obviously, you wouldn't want to fill this with milk or with water uh, if you were going to uh, haul milk with it. But uh, let's fix that. Uh, I would go and mess that up, wouldn't I? Alright. Pretty sure this will hold water, so let's go ahead and check it out. Indeed, we are now filling with water. Let's go ahead and just fill this up with water. I don't know how much the pigs are going to take. And while we're waiting for that to fill up, let's go ahead and check out the objects area. Because we can come over here with big bags and we can buy pig food. $1,000 for 1,000 liters of pig food. Let's go ahead and buy a couple of these. Okay, now when you feed pig food directly... Uh, what you don't have to you don't have to uh, feed all the individual elements uh, because the individual pig food uh, pig food I should say pallet will fill all of the pig foods requirements evenly okay, so it is basically the the proper mix of all the various um, pig food elements in one pallet and at a thousand dollars a liter, it's not that expensive um, if you don't have crops. Oops, wrong trough. I know it's the wrong trough because the food trough is squared off at the bottom and the water trough is rounded. Fill that up. That did not take too much. Going over here and fill up the water trough for the large pig enclosure. One
one reason I rotated these. Uh, one reason I rotated these the right, the same orientation, is so that the triggers would be in the same spot. We are. Drop that. Now let's uh, go ahead and park this out of the way. get our straw I don't know how much straw our pigs are going to take but I don't think they're going to take as much as our cows did okay Let's put one bale in then I'll put one bale on the forks that way we can uh, have a spare. See if the act of driving over there um, knocks that straw bale down. Oh, all right, that's working. Full beans. Of course, it reads 8,000 because I've got both the 4,000 liter bale on the uh, blower and I've got the 4,000 liter bale on the tractor. See, the straw plane is raising up here fairly quickly. We will not need this secondary bale. Oh, it's going to put it here on our TMR mixer. Yeah. Let's go here and put our lower straw in over here. Should have a little bit left. Let's go ahead and look at our animal area. See, we've got 800 liters of water and 1,600 liters of straw. All right, let's drop that off. Now, when we come back, I will be back from the shop. I'm going to go ahead and uh, run down to the shop with our flatbed here. And I'm going to switch out the uh, bale spikes for pallet forks. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick up the... Uh, 
pig food, and then I'll be right back. So you should notice something a little bit different. So I've got four trailers here uh, that are configured to haul grain. And then I got our flatbed. Got our two pallets of pig food. And I wanted to show you a couple different ways you could deal with these pallets. Um, the most traditional method would be to take the pig food here. Put it on our pallet. Drop it down in here. And you can see we are putting our pig food in the pig trough directly from the big bag. Okay, now if we go ahead and check our animal area again and we go to large pig enclosure, you'll see that we've got 500 liters of corn, 249 liters of wheat, 200 liters of soybeans, canola or sunflowers, and 50 liters of sugar beets. Okay, you see it filled all three of those. Now it was such a low amount uh, that the bars really were hard to see, but it did fill them all evenly. Now another way that we can do this is, let's say we could bring one of these grain trailers down to the shop. You can buy several bags of pig food. Okay, the trailer as it's configured holds 12,000 liters, so we could buy 12 bags of pig food. $12,000. And we can just put pig food directly in the trailer, like so. Okay. Just pig food. Then once we had the trailer full, we can come over here and tip the pig food directly into feeding area. Yes, I know I did a pretty poor job in, in putting that in a flat spot. See now we are putting our bulk pig food in the area and if we go ahead and check our large pig enclosure again we've now basically doubled all of those. Okay. Now when I come back, we are going to uh, magically have um, product in all of those trailers that we'll be able to uh, make use of. A little bit of pig food left for some reason. It's okay, we'll, we'll empty that out too uh, when we come back. And through the magic of television, we now have ourselves four trailers full of product. So we're going to go ahead and, once again, let's check our animal area. I know we were just here, but we've actually had a little bit of time pass. So we can see we now have 1,000 liters of corn, 500, 400, and 100. Let's go ahead and tip our corn in. We'll see how much eight pigs take. Okay. Go ahead and scroll down here. The eight pigs took 6,400 liters of corn. Go ahead and take this over to the other pig area. Just for fun. It's interesting, when we uh, fill corn, we do have the pig food um, texture show up in the trough. 
as opposed to having it cycle between you know whatever crop we put in as an individual item let's drop that now that is 50 percent of the food so the rest of these trailers should take um, significantly less uh, food product I think it's pretty cool that we can basically road train these cheap trailers together. This is the uh, small in-game trailer that you can uh, choose the capacity of from, I think, 4,000, 8,000 to 12,000. Let's go ahead and... Then our product, our tipping in soybeans. Interesting. Looks like with this setup, we cannot um, doesn't like it if we've got multiple trailers in here. Now we're tipping in our sugar beets up. Well, that was quick. Tip in our wheat. So the pigs require a fair bit of food, uh, which then also obviously requires a fair bit of land to own. So if you've got to feed them four separate crops, okay, so you're going to need to have at least four fields, um, one for each crop. Uh, you need wheat or barley, so you're good with straw there because you're going to have a way of basically making straw um, so pigs aren't really something maybe that you're going to be wanting to get into you know year one or, or early on I should say in your gameplay We've got seasons on the brain from farm sim 17 all of that trailer sugar beets dumping in with the sugar beet or potato yield and the amount of sugar beets or potatoes that is needed by our pigs uh, you really don't need that big of a field basically end up with more than enough food for your pigs for quite a while. Okay, so we got a little bit of a, uh, a break with the other trough because we did put 2,000 liters of pig food. You see we've got 6,400 liters of corn, 6,400 liters of wheat or barley, 6,400 liters and 6,411. Now you may think to yourself, why do I have so much of each? Because it's 50, 25, 20, and 5%, right? Well, I suspect that we are at the issue where um, we are getting fill levels for a default number of animals, uh, of which we don't have enough of yet. Okay, the way we're going to uh, test this scenario out, this hypothesis, is let's go ahead and buy up some more pigs. Let's get this truck out of the way. So 
we have eight, two, four, six, eight, by another eight. Okay. So that's eight. Confirm. We now have 16 pigs in our standard pig area. And we have eight pigs in our other pig area. And it has dropped by 50%. Very interesting. Wondering if this might be a bug we have run across. But at any rate, what we'll do is we're going to fast forward till tomorrow. And we're going to see how much food is dropped off. And we're going to notice um, our productivity should pop up there. But uh, basically, we're going to be making manure, slurry, and additional pigs. So remember, we've got 16 in the normal enclosure and two of each type in the large enclosure. I'll be back with you guys tomorrow. And it is morning time. And we have uh, basically finished our pigs here. What we're going to do is clean them up. See that when the pigs get dirty, they do put down pig food uh, here in the feeding area. Let's come over here with our bucket. And of course, you could use a skid steer, telehandler, or... Uh, or a wheel loader, that would be a bit excessive, but you can use anything with a bucket over here and pick this up. Uh, in theory, you could also use something maybe like a silage blade. All right, so this happened to me. Um, it actually happened to me another time. And I don't know how or what is going on, but somehow pigs are glitching weirdly I didn't have 900 and some liters of pig food down there I only had a hundred and some and then it just all of a sudden the bucket goes full 900 and some liters so let's go over here and see what's going on this one I had this happen uh, stopped recording and then actually I went and started recording the chickens and the horses. I really didn't feel like uh, going back and redoing all of the pig stuff. Then after I got done all that, I came back. I thought to myself, okay, I will uh, revisit these pigs and everything. Got everything back basically the way it was before I stopped. And then I started this this segment um, with the purpose of basically showing you that we got to clean the pigs. Here we are at the big enclosure. Okay, so you can see we do have down on food. I do not know on any reason why on earth we've got seven thousand liters of sugar beets. It's five percent of its food, right? Is that how I'm supposed to be reading this? Feed them the mix of the following foods. 5% potatoes. So this should be a small number, not bigger than corn. I don't understand. I think pigs are glitched. See, right there, we had 222 liters of pig food in our bucket. And then, boom, now it's 900. Where did that come from? We look here now. All of a sudden, we've got some massive number of sugar beets and potatoes. Both troughs. I just don't get it. I think pigs are somehow glitched. Okay, I mean we're unloading, but our bucket level is not going down. If you see, our food values are going up. It's like the endless bucket of food. Had this happen twice to me on pigs. Once I can the recording, I'm not going to can this one. I'm just going to put it out there. Values are going up. Keep this up. I'll basically be able to forever top off my pigs. 
Well, I don't get it. So, um, the principles are there. I don't know what's going on with these pigs. Something's, I said, something is glitched in them. Hopefully that'll get fixed in an update. But it will, this video will help you, uh, basically get started with pigs. Um, the, the main takeaway is that the only real product that pigs produce is another, other pigs. Um, so in a decent um, quantity, pigs will reproduce very rapidly. And uh, you'll be in a position where probably every um, you know, five or six game days, you could probably haul a good 10, 15 pigs off to market. Although they do take a massive amount of food. But they shouldn't be taking as much food as as they are with respect to sugar beets. Even if these feed troughs are to fill them for 10 days, like Farm Sim 17, where it was for six days, still, it should not be thousands upon thousands of liters of sugar beets. And that is only 5% of their diet. And 50% of their diet is corn. And that was only like 7,000 liters, 6,400 liters. So at any rate, hope you liked the video. If you did, please go ahead and click that like button. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're not a subscriber because we are going to have more how-to videos out in the channel. We've already got a fair bit. Um, and we're doing live streams on Farm Sim 19 and recorded series. So until next time, guys, happy farming.